Today is uh, 2 16 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday. We have a disclosure. Please read it. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, covering all those charts today in the uh, in the market, but what I'd like to do to our members, we've had a webinar yesterday and uh, covering the small account, and I wanted to insist um, covering uh, the small uh, account traders. Uh, by the way, this is Ninja Trader uh, Broker Connection. So yesterday we covered in the webinar, let me get this one out of the way, to our members, we covered yesterday uh, how we can manage a small account and how we need to, um, when we have a chop market, uh, small trades until we find a breakout. If we are looking at the ES today at 11.08, uh, we had a little chop market, small losses here and there, if you notice from the ES one minute and uh, uh, YM one minute. And then we had a breakout around uh, 10.40. And uh, we can see uh, from uh, the, as I said yesterday in the webinar, Watch the market if you like uh, the one minute or the three minutes. Which one? Because the three minutes have a little bigger stop loss than the one minute. And then you have the three range. Uh, this one here, you see two five range uh, ES because one, it was on a SIM, one, it was on a, on a live account. It doesn't matter. But if we monitor the one minute, the three minutes, and the five minutes, and you can see uh, the different and try to see if you can accept uh, the stop losses. If you want the smaller stop loss, what we said yesterday, then it will be uh, with the one minute, you will be uh, better off in one minute. Let's continue on that, what we covered yesterday. And today we have a lot of traders did exactly uh, like this uh, setup. I'm not going to be covering the DAX and the CL and uh, all those big markets. I want to uh, uh, try to go on the smaller account, guys, and, and uh, stay using two contracts. You can use one contract. As an example, uh, you, we can use maybe the NASDAQ one minute and the YM. Today, there is not much big move on the YM. The biggest move was on the, um, uh, on the NASDAQ. And uh, uh, the, the three minutes, actually, the NASDAQ three minutes uh, uh, did very well. And uh, today we had a lot of traders. They did exactly uh, like what I have done, and they were really impressed. There is a lot of traders today uh, did the same setting, and they said, uh, I mean, they said, Sam, when this uh, auto trade, uh, grab a trade and never let it go. And now they start uh, understand how to approach the market with the least expensive in the market. If we notice on the NASDAQ, the five minutes on one trade, and this is one here, three minutes, and the three minutes on the YM, and the three minutes chart on the ES, we can see, I'm sorry, it's a little bit uh, fade out from here. On the top uh, left corner, it is the ES one minute. And you can see the small trades happen and then when the uh, market start taking off we took off with it of course when you, we are looking at the three range is a smaller chart and it is 600 it's not going to be uh, 2800 like the three minutes absolutely uh, uh, higher risk higher uh, reward less risk less reward if we're looking at the five minutes also on the ym did very well the five minutes on the nasdaq did very well but the most performance today we have had is on the three minutes this is now at uh, 11 15 by 11 15 we took off with the one minute we took off with the three minutes and uh, we took off with the five minutes on the es you can see the five minutes i mean this is one trade folks this is one trade you can lock your whole uh, week and not like today, what happened, those big movements, 
tomorrow probably it will be chop market you know uh, i mean when when we have a lot of movement like this it can be one day or two days and then we're gonna be a little bit profit taken and the market is gonna be chopped so tomorrow you have to be really careful like what we said in the webinar at 9 30 watch this market very careful before you activate your auto trade also it is a very advisable not to take two contracts on one uh, market try to spread out like let's say uh, if you have a small account uh, try to take one nasdaq one ym whatever happened it happened if you have a little larger uh, uh, size account then we take one minute es one minute nasdaq and one minute ym and this is here at 11 15. it's the same thing here is at 11 32. at 11 32 we closed uh, 22 25 on the es three minutes and this one here we had a pullback and then we can see on the one minute uh, the market start reversing on the one minute this is a very beautiful setup when you have the one minute the three minutes and the five minutes why because if we notice I mean for the guys that would like uh, to interfere a little bit with the market if we notice that area here And the price right now is 1700 right there. Actually, it was above 2000. But when we took that short trade, maybe you would have considered closing it and close that trade on a couple thousand. So even if you are automated the three minutes chart, it will be very nice to keep your eyes on the one minute to understand what's going on. Even if you are taking the one minute and if you see the three minutes, there is a little pullback and and then you can see uh, that it's just a pullback. Maybe you will stay on that one minute to trade. This is here at 1134. We took the short trade on the one minute and then you can see here the market closed at the 2120 at 1134 and then the es closed at 2200 and you can see on the three range we had a lot of um, a lot of in and out today the three range actually did not perform very well they did a few uh, runs but the, the one minutes, uh, it was much, much uh, better. And then the three minutes, 2200. The YM was not really my piece of cake today. It was uh, 690 on the three minutes. But if we look at the one minute on the YM, on that trade, it was 660. At 11.41, We had the short on the ES and we can see on that trade at 1141, we were around 725. Here it was off uh, because I've been, I've been flopping between those two, a uh, lot of accounts. On the NASDAQ on the five minutes it closed, the uh, around 2400 and those two five ranges, you can see they are uh, the same numbers is 725 but we can see the ES was struggling on the three range. This is the most aggravating uh, picture for me today. Today, uh, I was uh, switching between two accounts and that one here started on one account. I closed it to start different account I had it and I closed it on a different account and it was poking me all day long because I closed it manually to to switch accounts and 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 I missed it and uh, that really really pissed me off on this one here 
but we can see the one minute, I mean, no matter what we do, we always, always the market can find a way, give us a blood pressure. Uh, so I missed this one here. I had that trade. I wanted to switch account. I switched account. Uh, and then um, I missed out this whole enchilada and it was the best trade for today. This one here went down to almost $4,000 on that trade here on the NASDAQ. I don't know if we have, let me see here. Yes, if you notice here at 120, we were much lower than that on the NASDAQ. It was almost $4,000. And we can see again uh, the ES hit the target one more time. This one here, we had it off. We're done with uh, the three minutes and the range and the five minutes. We were done with those. But. Um, the YM was not uh, that much impressive. It made a lot of runs, but uh, the NASDAQ today, uh, it was uh, superb. Uh, so to my traders, we have a lot of traders do the same setup. Even, even if you uh, trade in one chart, uh, let's say the three minutes, keep your eye on the one minute, three minutes and five minutes. That also can give you direction and you can see the performance because sometimes uh, if you are trading the three minutes and the one minute took short uh, and you have some good run on the three minutes, maybe you need to consider uh, closing that trade. Guys, thank you very much for today. God bless you all and uh, see you another day. Bye for now.